what is the theory of relativity so the theory of relativity essentially is a theory of gravitation a theory of gravity so it, relativity came in two phases in 1905 albert einstein put forth the special theory of relativity and in a, a decade later after a great deal of work he put forth the general theory of relativity so the general theory of relativity builds upon the the very baby steps he took in the special theory of relativity so i'll talk about the general theory of relativity which is the main which is what relativity actually is so until this theory came came around we had uh, we understood gravity reasonably well we had the newtonian theory of gravity which sees gravity as a force a force that acts at a distance it force a force that acts at infinite distances instantaneously so it's an instantaneous force no matter how far you are from a massive object you will feel its gravity no matter how far you are you will feel it instantaneously that is how newton's uh, law of gravitation works if you can see the equation so that is how we understood gravity now general relativity says that gravity is not a force it is the geometry of space itself it is the curvature of space time mass causes the fabric of space and time space time to curve and this curvature is what we interpret as gravity as the as this so called as this uh, apparent force of gravity so according to this theory the entire fabric of the universe is a four dimensional fabric it's called space time three dimensions of space and one dimension of time all integrated together and that is what we are immersed in that is the stage or the arena upon which the universe exists so that's space time and everything in the in space time has a limit a speed speed limit which is the speed of light so that is something that's hard coded in the universe nothing can travel faster than the speed of light not even these ripples in space time themselves even these ripples in space time will only travel at the speed of time uh, at the speed of light i'm sorry and not beyond that so that is a very interesting uh, effect it is a, it's a it's a very very significant difference from what newton said so let me illustrate this by doing a thought experiment so this here is a a toy model of our solar system we have the sun at the center and all the planets around it the sun should be much smaller but you get the point so according to newton's theory this star at the center right the star at the center here it exerts a force an attractive force on all of the planets and it's an instantaneous force it's a force that acts all the way out to infinity now let's assume for a second that let's do this thought experiment let's suddenly switch off the sun the sun suddenly disappears all of a sudden for whatever reason it's a thought experiment we can do anything so let's assume that i switch off the sun i make it disappear then what happens these planets are all going round round mostly round around the sun and since the sun disappears this force it was exerting on all the planets instantaneously disappears and what will happen is all the planets will fly off in all directions right that's what will happen instantaneously at the same time all the planets will disappear will go off in all different directions in various parts of space that's what will happen according to the newtonian theory of gravity now according to einstein's theory general relativity if the sun were to disappear it would take 8 minutes for earth to to know about it because the speed of light says that it takes about 8 minutes roughly 8 minutes for light from the sun to reach the earth so if the sun were to disappear we would not know about it for 8 minutes and it's only after 8 minutes that the gravitational effect or or the, the sudden gravitational disappearance of the sun would be uh, would have an impact on us so it's only after 8 minutes that the earth would fly off and it it would take longer for the other planets like jupiter and saturn to know about the fact that the sun has disappeared and only then would they start flying off in different directions so that is the difference my friends between newtonian gravity and general relativity general relativity general relativity like i said it treats uh, uh, the fabric of universe as a four dimensional space time and this is the difference between general relativity and newtonian gravity general relativity is much more accurate than newtonian gravity Uh, we can still use newtonian mechanics to send a rocket to the moon and bring it back safely 
we can send people to the moon and bring them back safely without using general relativity, using just Newtonian mechanics. So it is pretty accurate. But there are certain uh, phenomena that it can't ac account for. And that is where general relativity comes in. It is an improvement, a significant improvement on Newton's theory of gravitation. So that in, in very brief is what relativity is. It is a theory of gravitation. It is an improvement upon Newton's theory of gravity. And things such as GPS and much more would not have been possible had we not discovered general relativity.